why am I so awkward? Oh, come on, come on. <sighs> So in this particular video, we're going to talk about the different components of revision. So if you're a student who's actually doing your O or N levels this year and you are not quite sure how to go about with your revision for geography, hopefully this video will be useful and um, yeah, what I'll be doing is that I'll be reviewing some of the past videos that I've done as well as uh, to talk about some of the subsequent videos I'll be uploading um, and how they can complement one another to help you in your revision. Alright, so sounds good? Okay, so without further ado, let's start. Alright, so when it comes to the different components of revision, I would typically break them up into three main parts. Okay, the first one being the most important, and that is your content. Alright, content is so important because that's the fundamentals of learning geography, right? So you gotta know your geographical key terms. So for instance, if you're given a question that asks you to explain about the formation of volcanic islands at oceanic, oceanic conversion plate boundary, Okay, so what are some of the geographical key terms that you'll use? So it would be compressional force, denser oceanic plate, subducts, melt, magma, cracks and fissures, submarine volcanoes, then volcanic islands. So do you notice that all these terms are not terms that you use on a day-to-day -day conversation? So they are geographical key terms that you use to answer geographical questions, right? So that's why it's so important for you to be familiar with the content so that all these key terms will come naturally to you when you are answering the questions and exams. Okay, so if you're struggling with content, what I would recommend you to do is to review some of the older videos that I've done. So for core geography, you have six chapters, right? And for elective geography, you have four chapters. So what I've done is that I've broken down all the chapters, unpacked every single one of them using mind maps. So if you are struggling with content, do review them and um, hopefully they're useful in helping you. So what's part two to the different components of revision? Now that would be the choice of suitable and relevant case studies. Now the thing is, whenever I ask my students, why do you memorize case studies? They will say, because you say so, because it's important, because it's required in the question. But the thing is, you got to understand that case studies are served as a support to your answer. You want to make your answer more complete, right? You want to make sure that you're trying to express to the marker, to the examiner that, hey, whatever I'm explaining is actually happening in real life and this is an example. Okay, so now, in your textbook, there are plenty of case studies. Do you actually have to memorize every single one of them? No, right? In fact, the thing is, in your textbook, there are so many case studies. Pick and choose those that are relevant and those that are useful. And what I would highly recommend students to do is to actually look for case studies that can be applied across various chapters. So it reduces your need to actually memorize so many different case studies. Now, the last component of revision is answering techniques. Now, you see, a lot of students will actually come to me and say, Ms. Lun, I studied my content and memorize my case studies and yet I'm not able to get full credit for the different questions and exams. So why is that the case? Most likely is because of your answering technique. Now, when it comes to answering techniques, typically I will ask students to break it down to three main components when they are looking through every single question in the exams. I'll ask them to look out for the command words and then followed by the demand of the question and followed by the mark allocation. Now, just a quick overview, there are many different types of questions that will be asked in a geography examination. Okay, so typically you will see questions like describe question, explain and account for questions, comparison questions, or even um, levels question, which requires you to actually write an essay that addresses both sides. Right, so now for different types of questions, it requires different way of answering. So what I'll be doing in the subsequent videos would be to address each individual type of question. And hopefully these videos will actually help you, especially if this is a component that you're struggling most with. All right, so I hope you found this video useful in helping you understand about the entire revision process. Content first, gotta know your geographical key terms instead of memorizing the whole chunk of information. Try to remember key terms and try to link them together to form an explanation. 
okay followed by your case studies instead of memorizing every single one of them try to find those that you can actually use to apply across different contexts different chapters and lastly answering techniques which i'll follow up Okay, so if you found this video useful, do give it a like and if you have any questions, do feel free to put them down in the comments below. And lastly, if you'd like to reach out to me, do feel free to contact me via Instagram or TikTok. And uh, yeah, so see you in the next couple of videos and yeah, all the best in your revision.